Hi all folks, this is Max from 1xroot.com. Um, so I've got ROM of the week. Um, this week it's going to be the MUI ROM. Um, so let me show you around. Both of these are running MUI uh, 2.97. And actually this is one of my favorite ROMs um, so long as the version works pretty well. Uh, but it works pretty good on both. Um, I've got the International 1X and also the AT&T 1X as you can see by the AT&T. Um, the AT&T 1X version is compatible with the 1XL versions and if you have a quad core International 1X version you can get the this one uh, MIUI, MIUI, whatever you want to call it, I'm just going to call it MIUI. Um, anyway this one is the MIUI uh, 2.9.7 MIUI let's say they, they're supposed to call it. And this one comes with the Jelly Bean 4.1.1. Now I actually like the ICS version better um, because this one has everything working including Bluetooth uh, versus the Jelly Bean. Everything works also except for Bluetooth audio. So if you need a, um, if you have a need for Bluetooth audio, um, maybe you, you use it for uh, your work constantly, definitely do not install this um, on your AT&T 1X or 1XL. But if you have a quad core version, um, the ICS version is pretty flawless. Let me just walk you through some of the things here using my 1X. I mean, they're both pretty much the same ROMs. Um, first of all, you get notifications there, um, toggles there, and also you can hit this button here um, to uh, change the stuff here. Actually, you know what? That looks different. Actually, it looks a lot different on the Jelly Bean. It's actually better. Um, that's what I was going to show you. Um, so you go to toggle. Oh, you know what? No, no, it's the same thing. Um, so if you go to toggles here, and uh, let's go back to toggles, um, you get all of these, right? Which is nice. Now, if you want to customize it, very simple. Hit more here, and uh, it's really cool. You can actually, let's say you don't use your GPS much, you can actually drag it down there. And also, this is really cool. Um, 2G and 3G. Let's say you know you're running out of battery. You just want to uh, receive calls, maybe receive texts, and uh, you know, maybe receive emails. Then you don't need 3G. Then you can go power saving only 2G. Um, instantly, you'll be not using 3G and save a lot of battery life in those emergency situations, especially with the One X. Um, that can be very useful since there's no removable battery. And also, let's say you want the uh, torch. You use, um, you go out in the dark often, like me and uh, you like to check on your uh, solar lights that you installed the other day actually I did that um, and also you need the reboot menu now you got it all set here and uh, instantly now you got um, your your um, your toggles there with the torch um, so I can turn the torch on real quick um, there's also a bunch of shortcuts you can use with MUI ROMs which is really cool um, also the launcher has a bunch of options which is really nice um, you can get 4x4, four 4x5 four, four there and uh, you'll see that now it's going to turn it into 4x5 so I can put more apps 4x5 instead of and also on the Jelly Bean version, the AT&T version you get even more options with the launcher you can see I've got 5x5 five five, and uh, let's see how far it can go let's try 6x6, um, six six. that's going to be interesting give it a second here after you said it, it's gonna reload the UI so you can do even 6x6 um, that looks kinda confusing and uh, let's go back to this one you can also change um, some of the transition effects I like the 3D cube that's my favorite um, and also scroll types you can do by center um, all of this stuff this is kinda nice here so now it's you know got the 3D um, 5x4 so that's the launcher and uh, if you want to change out themes I'm not going to do it I've, I've had a ton of videos on that before but you can go to themes and download any theme you want you can go to online and you know most of this is in Chinese because this MUI, MIUI, Mi, <laughs> MIUI ROM was actually developed by Chinese developers so um, they have a, a lot of a big fan base uh, from Chinese people um, but it's not a big deal you can just kinda install it um, you can always uninstall it so go ahead and install them sometimes it gets slow I think the servers are in China 
Um, but it's a very good option uh, for themers. You can instantly turn your One X into an uh, iPhone if you want to even. It, it looks like a real iPhone too. Um, for those of you moving from iPhone to uh, Android, that could be very interesting. Complete settings. And also I forgot to show you there is a um, there is under toggles here. Uh, let's go to more here. There's uh, uh what is it? Well, I can't find it right now. But uh there's also access control. You can um, you know, you can see which which apps are can be seen or not, I think. Um compass all this stuff and uh yeah. And let me show you the lock screen here. And you can get the phone, um, camera, and there's also additional options here. Um, I've noticed sometimes it just starts going like that. Sometimes it started to restart itself, but it hasn't restarted. Um, security. There's a ton of more stuff that you can do. Um, now with the super user app, you're gonna get a different app than super user. Uh, I forget which one it is. I think it's under settings. D and D. Um. Oh, I think it's it was that earlier that I showed you the one with the uh, security center here. Um, no, that's not it. Oh, permission permissions manager. Um, this is pretty much your super user app that you can uh, you know manage your super user permissions if you have any trouble. And uh, you know, but definitely the themes is the way to go. But it's uh, it's not. Now, hold on, let me download it real quick. There we go. I've got the other One uh, X, the AT and T One X. This one's working fine. Um, so let's say uh, I really like this belt theme here then you can get it and uh, install it and uh, MUI is uh, there's MUI for okay my UI, uh for many of the other uh, phones out there Android phones so it's it's a uh, it's not for everybody but for those of you themers and also for those of you iHors they're moving from um, you know Apple products to Android this might help you transition more easily uh, by having a, an interface that's more similar to it um, the MUI in general it's kinda like an iPhone because you get the um, well I, let me change the launcher settings back to normal uh, if you have it to default um, by theme here you'll see that if you if you go meh, it's gonna reset the theme if you go left, you'll get the search bar, kind of like an iPhone. So it might help you transition more to uh, Android a little bit more. Um, but a very, very good ROM. Again, the Bluetooth is not working for the AT&T One X and the One XL, uh, but everything pretty much working on the ICS version of um, International One X. So if you have, uh, you know, if you got tired of uh, HTC Sense which I, I get really tired of HTC Sense. I don't know why, it just turns me off um, lately. Uh, this is very good. And also for the ICS version, you still get the HTC camera, which is a great plus. You don't lose any of the fun functionalities, which I really like. Um, but for the AT&T Jelly Bean version, you are going to lose it. Uh, let me show you that. And that's one thing I forgot to mention also. You'll get just the regular um, Jelly Bean camera, sort of. So you lose all the functionality. So overall, I would say the International One X version is very, very solid. Of course, the Jelly Bean version is pretty solid too. Um, just the Bluetooth and the camera, it's not going to be as flawless as the one on the International One X. Um, but try out this ROM and let me know what you think. And uh, you know, if you've been tired of uh, Sense and even you know CM10 then you can always give MUI a try certainly a great ROM uh, a lot of you know they actually have a Xiaomi phone or something coming out um, so uh, very good ROM check it out and let me know what you think uh, and that's the a ROM of the week for HTC One X and AT&T One X or One XL um, I'll have the download links below for the One XL or AT&T One X you don't have to flash the uh, boot dot image you might have to, but I didn't have to. For the One X, the International One X, you definitely have to flash the boot dot image, but via fast boot, unless you have S off. Um, I don't actually recommend S off. Just, um, you know, it just causes more headaches. 
at this point since you can flash it using fast boot. Um, so go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think. And uh, if you have a 1X or 1XL or AT&T 1X, don't forget to sign up for my email list at 1xroot.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you need with, uh, help with your phone. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there. And uh, I guess that's it. And have a have a nice, nice moo, my wee, me wee, uh, me wee week. There, I got it right. Me wee. See y'all later. Oh.